What's up everybody, my name is Kyle Sturchia and I'm a senior account executive for Seal Agency. My other passion besides marketing and advertising is drumming. And this week I'm headed to Dayton, Ohio to compete amongst hundreds of ensembles at the Winter Guard International World Championships for Percussion. And get excited because I'm taking you guys with me. This is my fourth year as a member of the Minnesota Brass Indoor Drumline and we compete in the Independent World Class, which is the highest class of competition. So, should be a lot of fun. We leave in just a few hours and I still got to pack, so let's get moving. Packing is a little weird for this because April in the Midwest is a little unpredictable. You can see my weather app here. On Wednesday, it looks like it's going to be pretty warm. Saturday is going to be pretty warm too, um, but Thursday, Friday is going to be pretty cold. So. There you have it, weather in Ohio in April. I'm taking this huge bag, and I'm taking this huge bag because I need to be able to fit my sleeping bag and my sleeping pad inside of it. We're not staying in a hotel, we're actually sleeping on the floor of a room inside the YMCA in Dayton. So not super glamorous, but I'm young and I can handle it. I'm gonna need shirts, sweatshirts, shorts, pants, jackets to rep my drum lines, under Armour for cold weather rehearsals, a rain jacket, plenty of socks and compression shorts, shower stuff, and toiletries. Most importantly, the hair stuff. Oh, yeah. Inside my backpack, I'll have my practice pad and sticks, my laptop to get some work done since I'll be missing class for this trip, rehearsal shoes, sunscreen, sunglasses, hat, water bottle, and an external battery for my phone since I'll be taking a lot of videos during the trip. And I'm also bringing a smaller bag, we'll call it my bus bag, to hold anything else that I might need, including snacks and Febreze, which is really important for a trip like this that involves sweating and long bus rides. And the most important thing that I absolutely cannot forget Okay, I'm all packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna go pick up some of my friends and then we're headed to the bus. Should be about a 10 hour bus ride through the night, so hopefully I can catch some sleep. And uh, yeah, shouldn't be too bad, let's do it. What's up? What's up? <laughs> Hi John. Howdy. Okay, so we made it to Dayton. Uh, we're stopping at Walmart right now uh, to stock up on some supplies for the week, some snacks. I'm probably gonna get some fruit snacks. Scooby Doo fruit snacks, can't go wrong with those. Uh, yeah, it's nice to finally be here, stretch our legs out a little bit. So, funny story, 
I had more rehearsal footage from that indoors rehearsal that you were just looking at. And at some point in the process of me transferring the footage from my phone to my laptop to free up more space on my phone to take more videos, I lost all that footage. I'm so stupid. So anyways, rehearsal was good, but after an all night of riding on a bus and after all day of rehearsal, I was pretty pooped. So when we got to our housing site that night, I pretty much just set up my bed and I was out. Prelims was the next day, so I had to be as well rested as possible. So I suppose now is about as good of a time as any to talk about how WGI Finals Week works for those that don't know. Prelims takes place on Thursday night and everybody performs. Everybody performs in front of a panel of judges that adjudicates your performance based on the music side of things, the visual side of things, and the overall general effect of the show. Out of everybody that performs in prelims, the top 20 are selected to move on to semifinals, which takes place on Friday afternoon. And then from there, the top 15 are selected to perform on the biggest stage, which is finals on Saturday night. So now it's Thursday, prelims day. big thing that I forgot to mention is that our show is called Widow and it's about spiders hence that weird mask thing that we're all wearing. Carry on. See I'm telling you I'm right? telling you a joke. This is a joke. <laughs> I'm like what? And, and James said get this. James said to me, to me, <laughs> not her, to me. Okay, prelims just wrapped up. We had a really, really good first run, uh, and it's sort of out of our hands now. We wait to see what the judges had to say about our show, and then we go from there, and the rest of the weekend should be fun regardless, so. We found out later that night that the judges put us in 19th place, so we were good enough to advance to semifinals, and we were less than a point behind the 15th place ensemble. And again, the top 15 groups would advance from semifinals into finals on Saturday night. So we woke up Friday morning hungry and ready to fight to get into finals. Let me know if you need anything. We had a great semifinals performance, but we unfortunately ended up in 19th place again and did not make finals. So our season was over, but it wasn't all bad. The rest of the trip included watching some of the other groups, catching up with old friends, and even catching a Dayton Flyers softball game that was happening across the street. The Marching Percussion World is a relatively small and tight-knit community that is an absolute joy to be a part of. The whole weekend was essentially just one big old family reunion and a celebration of this wonderful activity that we all love so much. The bus ride home was another restless one, but I had a lot of time to both reflect on what truly was an amazing experience I had this year with Minnesota Brass Indoor and freak out about the pile of homework that was waiting for me at home. So naturally when I got home, I just went straight to bed. Thank you all for watching and for allowing me to share this experience with you. Be sure to follow Seal Agency in all of the ways. Be sure to follow me in all of the ways. And if you like this video, great. I like you. Let's do this again sometime. If you didn't,